Hello everyone, my name is Viru Talreja and I'll be presenting the paper Attribute Based uh, Deep Periocular Recognition where we have uh, leveraged software metrics to improve the periocular recognition performance. And I've done this project uh, during my PhD at West Virginia University along with Professor Nasr and Nasr Badi and Matthew LMT. So coming to the problem uh, that we are trying to resolve and the motivation behind it is the problem is periocular recognition with soft biometrics and uh, the motivation is that if tradition if you look at traditional face recognition technology these are presented with non-occluded faces wherein the features such as eyes face and mouth are clearly visible however due to the inspired by the covid 19 pandemic response it has become a widespread requirement to wear protective face masks in public places and this has driven the need to understand how the facial recognition technology deals with occluded faces often with just the periocular recognition and a periocular area and above is visible so here we address the challenge of a periocular face recognition in an unconstrained wild environment and also we integrate the soft biometrics information into this periocular recognition to improve the overall recognition accuracy and the reason the motivation behind using soft biometrics is that whenever a human recognizes visual uh, a face recognizes a facial image you just do not analyze the overall visual pattern but also the semantic information such as the gender and ethnicity of the person that you're trying to recognize so therefore it is reasonable to believe that semantic information is helpful for visual identification tasks so next coming to our approach, um, we present this uh, framework that we call attribute based deep periocular recognition and this architecture consists of four blocks, uh, a backbone network, a region, a block of periocular layers called the only the periocular recognition block, a region, a block of uh, attribute layers called the soft biometric classifier and a block of joint attribute and periocular layers called as a joint periocular re recognition block. So here backbone network is actually shared by both the PR block and the soft biometric classifier. After optimizing the attribute layers and the periocular layers individually, the features from these two blocks are concatenated to uh, and with a fully connected layer on top and a softmax to create this joint periocular recognition block. So this joint periocular recognition block actually utilizes features from both the attribute layers and the periocular layers. And this whole system is then trained end to end and the loss from both the attribute layers and also the final periocular and the joint periocular recognition block is back propagated through the network and the novelty is that due to this feature fusion here and loss propagation the soft biometrics are directly influencing and help in improving the overall periocular recognition accuracy it's coming to the open world setting so so we have implemented this uh, in both the open world and the closed world setting for the open world setting we have used uh, an adpr based siamese network in the siamese architecture we have used identical adpr networks with shared weights for both the input images and these two networks are coupled together together using a contrastive loss function so next so next we look at the performance evaluation and first we take uh, look at the open world performance uh, we have compared the performance of a periocular recognition at the output of the pr block with the performance of a periocular recognition at the output of the jpr block and uh, we, for this uh, for this performance evaluation we have used uh, uh, the proposed samis architecture which is designed for the open world uh, verification and we have trained this data set on ubipr test rate on uvrs v2 and frgc and can be observed that by the red curve that the adpr jpr consistently outperforms the orange curve that is the adpr PR and this observation suggests that uh, due to the feature fusion uh, of uh, and the back propagation of the combined loss function, the soft biometrics are directly influencing the discriminative power of the network and therefore improving the overall prior recognition performance. Coming to the closed world performance, here also we can notice that the ADPR GPR consistently outperforms the ADPR GR and also the state of the recent state of the art deep prowess. And here we look at the soft biometric prediction where our where our framework outperforms the state of the art. Coming to the conclusion, we have printed a periocular recognition framework based on CNN and the fusion of soft biometric features with periocular features. And we have observed an improvement in open world setting and closed world setting.